from O'Banion Middle School to Schrady Middle School, sixth grade students in Mr. Paul Raina's science class sometimes get the opportunity to take their indoor lessons outdoors into a garden that Mr. Raina has transformed into a learning oasis. Let's take a look. Schrady's really proud. We have an outdoor environmental learning center. Um, the key mark piece, or the uh, major part of it, is our garden that's behind me. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to start it nine years ago, and the kids work with me. They stay after school, and uh, we work. We made the soil better, and uh, we do a lot of harvesting. This year, we hope to harvest about 110 to 120 pounds of potatoes, and uh, they like it because at the end of the school year, uh, while they're taking their final exam, I'm making mashed potatoes, so they get to eat mashed potatoes while they're bubbling in their their scantrons. Uh, there's a lot to be learned from the garden. Uh, I'm very, very fortunate that my principal and the school district allows me to do what we do here. Uh, we've grown these these benches were actually made by one of my students. It was his Eagle Scout project, Justin Baum. And uh, he at first said, uh, can I make you some picnic benches? And I was like, mm, maybe not picnic benches because the kids would have their backs turned to me part of the way or their necks would get tired. And they said, what if I make you half picnic benches? And I'm like, good. So far, we've had them out here for about a month and we've had multiple classes come out, enjoy them and use the Outdoor Learning Center. Uh, we're fortunate enough to receive a grant from Lowe's and we have a beautiful uh, garden which is uh, uh, an example of a drought tolerant garden in this age of water restrictions. We can't use as much as most people would like to to keep their gardens uh, and, and their, uh, their flowers looking nice. So we wanted to present something to the public so they could see what they could grow that uses less water. Um, the garden's awesome. We have everything from spinach to broccoli to cantaloupe to watermelon to corn to onions and it goes on and on. We've got um, blackberries in our orchard. We've got uh, three different types of peaches. We've got two types of pears. We've got Fuji apples, Gala apples, Golden Delicious apples. We've got pecans. We've got a little bit of everything here. So um, this has kind of been a, a really, really nice uh, investment in time with the kids. It's for the kids. It's for the entire community. I would say a good number of our kids do start gardens at home. One of the things that we do is we start from seed uh, jalapenos, tomatoes, and various other things. We did watermelons and cantaloupes this year and we all start them in the inside the classroom. We raise them up to a certain stage and every kid is allowed to take home plants. So each one of them takes something home and if they want to they plant it. And a lot of times they get pictures from uh, you know when I come back of how their plants have grown and grown and one uh, girl just told me that her cantaloupe is probably spread out about two to three feet from its little ceiling. So they get to see it from the very beginning all the way through. So yeah they do that. I was also really happy I, when I was doing some work out here about two weeks ago, I had a high school student come on back and he said, oh, Mr. Rain, I just wanted to see the garden. And he started telling me about his garden and I was just so impressed and blown away that he took some of the information from here and, and is using it in you know, his life. Ultimately, the stuff that they learn now, hopefully they'll pass it on to somebody else, maybe one day even their own kids. Uh, we're very fortunate. Uh, I've been able to do this uh, primarily from grants. Uh, I've been, I haven't had to ask my principal for any money, so he's happy on that regard. But uh, for years and years, uh, uh, the Meadows Foundation has made donations uh, to help keep this going every year. On occasion, the Best Foundation, when I really need something, they've always come up and, and got me what I needed. The tiller to till the garden came from the Best Foundation. Lowe's, like I said, and Keeper All That Beautiful came together to help uh, uh, gather some funds uh, for the uh, drought tolerant garden. Uh, I currently do have a grant uh, from HEB for an irrigation system to irrigate the trees. That's a $2,600 um, donation. I also have, hopefully in the near future, a wind powered, solar powered uh, electrical generation station coming in, totally off grid. And from that, we'll create energy to shine a light on the flagpole at nighttime and also to run some water features so that we can go ahead and continue the learning. Everything that we do outside is so that the kids can make it real world and hands on and uh, they tend to learn a little bit better when they do it that way.